Beans and beer. We are highlighting two great things that are grown right here in Colorado. Colorado Craft Brew that pairs so well with Colorado grown beans. And today we are inside Hesher Barbecue Food Truck. Yep. <laughs> I love it. That well, just says it. We are the place to I'm, be right I'm, now. I'm, I'm the spot. I'm the spot. <laughs> yes, you are. This is where the party's Chef at. Chef Jeff Jabot, owner and founder of Hesher Barbecue. He is going to show us how to make drunken beans today, um, also known as barracho beans. Barracho beans, yeah. Okay, let's do it. What bean are we starting with? We use pinto beans. We're using pinto beans. And Chef likes to start with dry pinto beans. Yeah. Tell me about your process of using dry pintos. Yeah, so our video is too short to actually watch the whole process because yes. it's a couple hours. But it's worth it. It's, it's worth, worth it. it. It's it's worth it. it. Yeah. So I start with a dry bean. I clean the bean so there's not the extra dust, et cetera, from the of bag course. and all that. Uh, so I rinse them off and they go into a pot and I do 50% water, 50% beer. And you don't mm -hmm. soak them? No. You just go right in? Go right in. Dark beer. Dark beer. It's gotta be dark beer. So Okay, so beer, water, beans. Ta-da! Yep. So we're using a stout for these beers, for these beans. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is the finished product. So an hour to hour and a half, this is what you get. And Pintos already have such a great color as it is. Yeah, now you're adding in that stout yeah. and it just enriches the flavor. I mean, exactly. take a look at that. It's just deeper, it's richer, it's brighter. Yep. Oh, those are beautiful. Yep. So then from that, I save a little bit of the liquid. So that's what the liquid looks like after they've cooked for a couple hours. And this is the liquid of the- From, from the beans themselves. The beans themselves. and the beer? Yeah. Wow. So the beans themselves will have a little bit of starchiness to them. Mm -hmm. So the liquid will have a little thickness, which is nice when you're actually eating the beans. Um, they have some, some body to them. They're not just watery, right? Of course. Um, I add green onions. Nice pop of color. Yep. Uh, I take onions. Uh, tomatoes and um, jalapenos. I saute those first. Okay. So basically pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. um, and then saute them, add those to the beans. Okay. Um, this is our, our spice mix for it. So it's paprika, cumin, cayenne, and uh, um, has a really nice aroma oh, to it. Oh, that yeah. is. That's, yeah. And that's gonna go so well with the beer. Yep. And then I use a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. So what I love that you're, you're not pre-soaking these beans. So that means guys, when these dry beans are cooking, they are literally absorbing that beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now you have, <laughs> now you have Colorado beer beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drunk beans. Yeah. Uh, okay, continue, let's so, go, sorry. So the last step is when they're, when they're done, mm -hmm. I'll add some fresh chopped cilantro to it. Okay. Okay, it's just for that extra brightness, okay? So what you end up with is Oh, I love that. Drunk beans. Drunken beans right yep. there. Um, I could just eat that as a whole meal. Yep. And, and this, I'm sure people do. This is a vegetarian item too as well. So a lot of times you'll see ham or chorizo, even bacon um, added to these. Um, I do all my sides vegetarian on the truck. So that's why this is a vegetarian style. And that's becoming a real trend too, Chef, is we're seeing people who are craving some of those vegetarian options. So to, even if you're going out there to one of the breweries where Hesher Barbecue Food Truck is yeah. or one of the special events, you can find something that fits your need. Yeah. Well, so many, so many, so many people date or marry people that are vegetarian <laughs> yes, and they want to go course. and have meat, but they their partner doesn't. So that's why we do it. Yeah, so many so, possibilities when it comes to beans. Yeah. What other things do you like to experiment with? Oh, I do. I do uh, baked beans. I do barbecue beans. I do. I do ranch beans. I do all kinds of different. Do you stuff. stick with pintos? Are those the most versatile for your type of cuisine? Pintos are my favorite, so that's what I go with. Um, I think pintos are but, Colorado's but, favorite but, too. But, I do, but, I, but I, I do love black beans too. Yeah, so, of course, and we grow those here in Colorado yeah, too. Yeah. So my uh, my baked beans, I do have black beans in them too. So there, you have a bunch of different colors going on, which is I think ideal. Exploring yeah. the flavors and the delicious world of beans. It is so easy with a guy like Chef Jeff Jabot. Chef, drunken beans, barracho beans, whatever we call them, they are good. All right, hand me my lunch. This is it, I'm taking this to go. All right guys, have fun with us, coloradodrybeans.org and on social media.